Upgrade complete. Siege breakers are right there. The turrets are doing good work. They may still take another overlords, thankfully, for doing the right thing. The other issue is pretty hard as well. You don't have to deal with the Nidus Worm so much, but you do have to deal with a lot of air. You'll face the Leviathan, because we obviously didn't kill her here. Letting the Vikings fly around and kill some dudes is always handy. 60%. 61 even. They're doing good work. There she comes. The Queen of Blades has returned. You fools should never have come here. Let's right, see if we can take her out this time. Base is under attack. There we go. Oh god, watch out for that. That was so much damage. It's like a mega size storm. Holy crap. Hold the line. That's actually this might be enough banshee, so let's keep him. And then instead get Dusk Wings. So really just more banshees, but you know. There we go, Night is Worm time. Oh, there's so many of them. Look at the sheer amount of surge coming. Base is Gonna sneak around and get it. Hope for the base defense that can hold its own. We're not sure how well it's doing, honestly, but we have defense. The important thing is to obviously defend the artifact, since that's actually the only thing we're doing. That's the last one. I could use, um, actually, fire about mine. Just go inside. All right, we're okay. We're okay. Upgrade complete. We're at 197. Upgrade complete. Let's upgrade some more. Ship plating on its way. Seismic disturbance detected. More Nereidus swarms. There's no rest in this mission. It's just go, go, go. Upgrade complete. I got this. Get them before they release many. There we go. Get that bandling. Base is under attack. The SUVs, guys, you should be very careful. Alright, we've got a whole bunch here, so... Let's take out what we can on the way and then move around. It is no... I think this is noticeably easier, running without the, um... By doing Shadow of the Skies instead of Belly of the Beast. Because a fleet like this is just really handy. And they're mobile. Is under warning. Seismic there we go again. The side receptor is quite useful for this mission, although I do wish it had a bigger AoE. I guess it would be too good. Come on, sneak up and grab him. Doing okay here. The bunkers are actually doing fairly well. The, d the increased repair is huge. Hello, Overlord. The blinky thing gets a little bit annoying, but what are you gonna do? 194, so we have six. It's worth getting anything in particular here. The Hell's Angels, I guess. We got the Vikings. Let's get into the fight. That's group two. Trace so we got one for Banshee's two for the Vikings. We have the mercenaries for defense and the fleets for offense. It's not quite depleted yet, does it? Oh dear. Well, I mean, we're sitting on 12,000, so it's no massive rush. It's just we can't build anything. We're at max 200-200. You fools. You are playing there with forces beyond your comprehension. Inbound is under attack. Engaging. Hello. Can do. Watch it. She gets more powerful every time. She's part of the problem. Man. Let's keep the pressure on. Well, I don't know about pressure. We have plenty of pressure against us. 
See if we can kill some of the over like the overseers, yeah. Oh, it's it's quiet again. So I will probably be told it's a night storm coming any second. A little bit of a chill time. It's a weird bug. So far, so good. Okay, we're gonna get into the last bit now. When we're at nine, uh, when we're at ninety percent plus, it's it's rough. Get the worm. To avoid most of the hydralists there, wait for them to go to the base and die there, while we just take out the worms. And we're all good. Come on, Carrigan, you're gonna have to bring more to more at me than this. I remember this being much harder. I guess I was much worse when I played this the very first time. More Nidus worms are coming every single second now. Base is under attack. Done and done. Base is under attack. Come on, take out all the worms. We have to rely. Oh my god. Time for Nova? Uh, maybe not. Maybe we can hold it. Just a little bit. We might need to get some extra mercenaries though. Warning. Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus oh god, more Nidus worms. The artifact's energy is peaking. Just hold out a little longer. That's the plan, son. Alright, final attack is coming. I think this might be a good time. Hold for as long as we can and then use the artifacts. Oh, too many. Can we wait for 95? So many of them coming. Taking out my supply depots now, that's not cool. At least we can't reinforce. I'm gonna pop it at 95. Actually, maybe maybe I'll be fine. Oh, there is more coming. Okay, there's a lot coming now. Alright, Kerrigan's up. We're gonna pop it on her as well. This has gone on long enough. Here we go. Let's get her to close and then activate the Nova. Watch for the storm thing. God, she has so much health. Alright, here we go. Last bit of defense. 98%. I hear Sarah. She's losing it. Yeah. You ready for war? 99. Come on. Now, as long as we pretend this last bit here, we're good. This is all we need to protect. The rest is just dying as they spawn. We're done, ladies and gentlemen. The end. It's now or never, General. Hit it! Yeah, see, 150 with it all in, that's pretty easy. Now that one is hard, that's one of the hardest achievements in the game. Anyway, let's sit back, relax, and watch the end.
Sarah. You reading all this? You have your orders, Mr. Findlay. Carry them out. Titus, what have you done? I made a deal with the devil, Jimmy. She dies. I go free. We all got our choices to make. Damn shame. It's okay. I got you. The end of Wings of Liberty. So ends part one of the story. With Mengsk still alive and kicking, although a little bit defeated. Tychus having taken a bullet to the head from Rainer, since he was acting on orders for Mengsk from the very beginning. Of course, one can ask exactly what order he got. Did he get the order to kill Kerrigan? That seems like a weird thing to give. I would imagine he would get the order to kill Raynor, but obviously he probably didn't want to do that. Either way, it's a shame. Tagus is out, but make a deal with the devil. Sometimes it doesn't quite go as planned. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this game, and you have yet to see or play Heart of the Swarm, the follow-up, I would strongly recommend you to do so. Uh, it's as fun as this was, and I really enjoy Wings of Liberty, it's quite fun. Heart of the Swarm outclasses it in pretty much every way. It's just amazingly fun. The, you basically take on the role as Kerrigan, doing Zerg stuff. It's the Zerg uh, expansion, so to speak. Um, I've already made a series on it, just in case you didn't know. In fact, making a series on Heart of the Storm... or the Swarm, sorry. ...was what made me make a series of Wings of Liberty in the first place, because... ...people watched that one, asked me to do the first one, and so I did. And I'm glad I did do it, because it was quite fun to replay this. StarCraft 2 is a solid single-player campaign, it always has, honestly. Even since StarCraft 1, I know most people just play multiplayer, which... ...and it's a brilliant multiplayer game, but... I really enjoy the single player in this. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. So yeah. Go watch my series on Heart of the Swarm, or even better, play it yourself. Or, or both, I guess, if you really want to. But Eventually, Legacy of the Void will be coming out, but I think that's a while away. There's not even been any sort of hinting about it, so I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. But once it does, I guarantee you I will be making another series on it, because... Damn, I'm looking forward to that one. You can hear in the background the Elite Tarn Chieftains. Blizzard's own rock band. It's kind of funny. I'm really interested to see what the third campaign is going to be like, though, because you've had a specific feel for both. For this one, you had the whole 
Hyperion moving back and forth in different type of upgrade. You have the jukebox and the Katina, and it's all about sort of the gym and Tychus. So, like the circuit bait is like a hundred percent Kerrigan focused, hundred percent Zerg focused, and it's really interesting that way. And some big stuff happens, and it's kind of interesting. So I imagine the third run is going to be probably Seratul focused, possibly one of the other um, Protoss, but I would imagine Seratul. He's the most famous one still around from the first game. Anyway, it's good stuff. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourself, because I know I have. And until next time, goodbye.